Losing my mom was really hard on my dad. But you know what else was hard? His dick. I'm Cheryl Isaacson, the founder of Horny Hospice, the world's first sex-positive senior living community. It's not your grandparents' hospice. Hospice care has always been about addressing a patient's physical, emotional, social, and spiritual needs. But what about their sexual needs? Families can be surprisingly inconsiderate when it comes to their elders' final fantasies. People assume that the sex drive of a senior is low, but that's simply not the case. And the residents of Horny Hospice definitely like to get freaky. Except when Wheel is on. Horny Hospice residents are truly nostalgic for the good old days of black and white smut. Unless their grandkids taught them how to use Pornhub. We make sure our loved ones are attended to with a wide variety of sex toys and enhancement chemicals. And if they prefer it rough, our staff are fully licensed providers of a variety of BDSM services. Ah, Horny Hospice provides suitable and nourishing meals, though patients tend to be less inclined to eat jello than to wrestle in our custom jello wrestling basement. Once the word spread about Horny Hospice, there was a pretty long waiting list. But since we're a hospice facility, we were able to keep that list fairly short. Young people are often afraid of coming to hospice facilities. We find that grandchildren are the most excited to come visit, but residents are often too busy to say goodbye. Horny Hospice has one goal, to keep your loved ones going till the very end. And with Horny Hospice, I know my dad will go out with a bang.